we really wanted to reinvigorate the found footage genre, which is, we, we felt was kind of sloping downward and fading out of existence, so to speak. There have been several, but I think we really wanted to create this, this found footage film that people would look at and say, wow, I guess it still is viable. I guess it's still a great genre and a great way to entertain people. And so we had a lot of work to do, and, and we, but I really feel like we pulled it off. Making it feel real and not having the plot points sound like plot points or exposition is probably the biggest thing. Um, and we were very fortunate in casting great actors and characters and characters with similar personalities, uh, actors with similar personalities as the characters to be able to create a very real world. And although we had those plot points and those bullet points that we needed our actors to hit for story purposes, we wanted them to become themselves in those moments and say them as they would say them and do those in the way that they would do. So it was very neat to be able to see that. And if something was overly, don't go over there, you know, it was like, hey, let's switch it up. Be like, what's that? You know, so we were able to really change some things up that, that anything we spotted that was too cinematic or too movie-esque, we had them kind of just work with it. People are going to have a really good time watching this movie. It's funny as well as scary. You have so many different roller coaster rides that you go on, uh, ups and downs in this movie that are just fun. People that like thrillers are gonna love this because it really is suspenseful and thrilling, as well as having those scares. And those scares, they will get you. Uh, you find yourself screaming. Uh, if you're a man, you will find yourself screaming like a young woman. And so it was great to get that kind of feedback and then to have offers come in uh, from some of these big dogs and then New Line and Chris's favorite is Warner Brothers. He loves Warner Brothers. And so uh, when New Line kind of came in and adopted the film and Warner Brothers really just kind of, you know, really backed them and, and, and they both kind of just, like, we love it. We love it. We just, we just felt ecstatic. They started looking around at local theater stuff, and there wasn't much, and there isn't much, but it's kind of growing. And one guy said, hey, I know a guy who's coming up to do his thesis film from his film school in L.A. And, and I said, well, great. What, what do you need? He said, he needs stunt guys. I said, I've been on Wipeout. I'm all about stunts, right? So <clears throat> he comes up, and he, I meet him for the first time. He walks into this boxing gym here in Fresno, and I'm thinking, who is this kid? It's just this little kid. And it wasn't that he was just this baby-faced, like, young kid. It was that here I am, this old man, you know, still haven't figured out what I'm trying to do in life. And this kid is so driven. He knows what he wants. He's here. He's, he's directing everything. He's telling everyone what to do. He's the boss. He's in charge. I'm going, dang. Like, where did, what, like, where did I veer from the, the path of... You know, being in charge, you know, and, and, and so it was really cool seeing this young guy driven and focused, knowing what he wanted and going for it.